Hello everyone, this is Abdes from the Minecraft Spells and this video is a tutorial on how to make a um, self-rebuilding house and well, let's get started so, if you're trying to make something like what I like what I built first you wanna uh, just set the um, the, the 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 system that builds the walls and this is how you do it you make it, uh, it you can it can pretty much make it the any size you want except if you want to make a self rege regeneration uh, uh, roof sorry because I don't know if you know this but you probably do the pistons can only push uh, 12 blocks so if you uh, have the this box bigger and wider uh, uh, longer and wider uh, than 12 blocks you will be having troubles with the self regeneration re regenerating roof sorry I can't talk today um, so mind that um, that said all you have to do is design this box in which you place a piston facing upwards and a redstone torches beneath it to keep it extended and a redstone repeaters like such to power each and every one of these and have them wired to the um, repeater the clock right here uh, I'll be with that in a in a sec so and right in here in a minute I'll place lava lava sorry and out here I will be placing the water in order to generate cobblestone on top of the pistons for now I'm just going to show you the rest of the redstone system so right here we have the repeater or the clock or whatever you want to call it and basically what it does it keeps pulsing a signal and keeps this baby working and I'm showing you right now you see this is what happens Let me just reset it. Okay, so this is the repeater. You just just have to let me see. Place a block like this. A torch here. A redstone repeater. And set some delay. And where do you see? It's blinking. Then what I did to add even more delay, I just placed another repeater here and added more four more ticks so that it gives time to the lava and water to touch each other and form cobblestone. So let me take this out. Now, connect it to, to in order to control this, you must have a lever or, in this case, two pressure plates right up there in the in the entrance of the the house. And to uh, if you just linked the pressure plate to that, it would only work for a for a for the the time that this thing powers the circuit. To, to keep the power uh, on uh, until you want to stop it, you build a RS neural edge or a memory cell, depends on what you want to call it. Um, and this is it. You just place two locks like this. See? A repeater facing the way you want the current to travel. A redstone torch behind the repeater and another one in front of it and then link and this will be the 
input see now it changes and this is the output now it's on because I need the torch right here to reset it and we have to do is power this this side and it's off again if you have any doubts in without we in in, um, in the redstone wiring I have some tutorials in my channel if you want to check them so I won't be get into much of detail so uh, oh and this is an important part to keep this uh, stable without blinking you must power it from here or from here this side doesn't matter and to do that since the power on the cell is off at this uh, at its reset state I reverse it and when I press the pressure pad it powers this inverts here and cuts off the power let me stop this again done so this is the part to, to that generates the walls now we're going to for the part that generates the roof which is quite similar uh, has a bit of a difference oh like sorry so um, the power comes uh, up these torches right through this one and it comes directly from the inverter inverter in front of the memory cell and up here I built another ticker or clock or whatever and re did this, the exact same thing reverse the signal keeping this this one on and keep this one off see and once I press let's just go right here and press this see it starts to work let, let me just shut it off because of the noise okay let's go let's go let's go all right so as you see as you saw uh, the power comes here starts um, making in this pistons ext uh, extend and retract and then comes right here to the pistons on the top and they are uh, actually functioning um, uh, the, uh, one if these ones are extended this will be retracted and vice versa because of the delay that comes from here to here if you change the if you do not do the wiring exactly like this you will most probably um, have to adjust the timings of the pistons so that they work like that ones extend and the other ones retract uh, okay I think I cover it all so oh ah oh there's a something else as you've seen on the video that where I show my house you have a reset button inside and by the thing by looking at this you might wonder how the heck the power comes from this end to this one uh, well it's easy when the the wall grows upwards uh, it will place a block between this repeater and that piece of wiring and if you do not know this uh, well you will uh, know now if you have a repeater next to a block and power this repeater it can carry powers through a block so if the wall is standing right here you can reset it if the wall isn't standing right here which means it, it has been destroyed you just wait for it to rebuild itself and then it can reset the system and stop it pretty simple 
so I'll be adding the the water and the lava now and I'll see you guys just in a sec okay everyone we're back and as you can see I added the lava and the water to add the water what I did was placing blocks at the level of the at the same level of the pistons and uh, right here I one down so that the water flows from that side to this one and the lever uh, what I did was uh, uh, added this sand you can add anything you want except wood of course um, added the lever right here so that like, it flows to uh, to all the pistons and um, well it, this is it. Do it uh, all the way around, and be n note the fact that the lava has to flow to all of the pistons, or else it won't generate cobblestone. And upstairs, I basically did the same thing, but it's just a little bit different. You see, the lava is trapped. Uh, behind the extended pistons and the water is right here uh, as I was adding the water I noticed that I had forgot um, um, a couple of pistons right here uh, but I corrected it and now it's I think it's it's fine you see I added this this part right here uh, other than that I didn't change a thing and I added also the obsidian so are you guys ready to see this one building itself so I think we should drop no we can watch it from hmm, wait a minute I'm gonna build the observation point and I'll okay we're back and I found out that I do not need to build an observation point because I have a pretty good three three right there so well let's just start this as you can see going pretty well, I think. Well, I think it has finished it. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Yes, I think it's working fine. Oh, I can't even. Oh. All right. Let's. Let's just light this up a little bit. And oh, I'm a bit. Uh, yeah, right here. And I advise placing um, stone pressure plates so when you mine to get out, it won't activate the system all over again. And well, I think. I covered all of the bases and please guys if you have some doubts or uh, want me to clarify something uh, just give me a shout on the comments or on a private message uh, anyway I'm willing to help you in any way that I can well, other than that, 
I think we're done here. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.